Welcome to the 2023 September edition of your wine club. I'm going to take you through some of the wines that you have in your box. This wine is our 2022 Frizzante. Frizzante was a fun name that we came up with to describe this wine as it is a Charmat Method bubbly. Charmat means that we take the grapes and they do a primary fermentation in a stainless steel tank. And then when it comes time to bottle them, we'll actually put them into a different stainless steel tank, what is designed to handle pressure. And the secondary fermentation happens inside of that tank. Um, and then the wine is bottled. So this is different than a traditional method sparkling where the secondary fermentation would take place in the bottle. This wine is a blend of three different grape varieties, Riesling, Videl, and Chardonnay. Um, now, one of the tricks for sparkling wine is you actually harvest the grapes a little bit early so they have lots of acidity. Um, and I find that there's lots of baked apple, some bit of peach and uh, white flowers on this wine. really nice, refreshing bubbles. Um, and I find that people tend to hold on to their sparkling wines for special occasions, but you're, you're missing out if you do that because they really are quite versatile. Um, you can have this wine with anything from cheese and charcuterie. Um, it's actually an excellent brunch wine if you think of like a, a fruit plate and uh, things like that. This is our 2022 Frizzante Rosé. This wine is made 100% from Gami Noir grapes. Um, the fruit actually comes from one of our partner vineyards in Niagara. And to make it a rosé, we harvest the grapes and then they go directly into the press with as little skin contact as possible. The wine then goes through its first fermentation in our stainless steel tanks. Um, and then just before it's bottled, it actually goes through a secondary fermentation also in the stainless steel tank to capture those bubbles. Um, and then, then it's bottled. This wine is really fresh and lively, perfect for summer and fall. Um, there's lots of flavors of rhubarb, watermelon, strawberry. A little bit of pomegranate. This wine would go perfectly with um, any sort of cheese and charcuterie plates. Um, you think of uh, like a summer salad, maybe with some strawberries on top, that type of thing. This is our 2017 Gamay Noir, and the grapes came from Hubel Grape Estate in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Gamay Noir is a lighter red. Um, this one, the grapes came from a vineyard in Niagara-on-the-Lake, Cuba Grape Estate, and they are actually a fairly warm site in Niagara. Um, so we get lots of good ripe flavors like cherry, uh, there's some raspberry, a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of spice. A bit of leather and vanilla from the oak. When wine experts use terms like pear, guava, or leather, it doesn't mean that the wine was in contact with these substances. They are simply using these terms as comparisons to describe the aromas and flavors they perceive in the wine. So these grapes were harvested and then fermented on their skins to get this great um, color and flavor extraction. And then the wine was put down to age in barrel, French oak barrels, for 10 months. This wine would pair really well with foods like duck, roast chicken, pork. This is our 2018 Foxcroft Vineyard Chardonnay. Uh, Foxcroft Vineyard is located in Niagara. It's actually kind of on the side of the escarpment in Vineland, so you get really good intense sun but then uh, lots of cool breezes so we get really even and 
consistent ripening from that vineyard. Um, we're quite lucky to get grapes from there. Um, this wine has lots of flavors of melon, there's a bit of vanilla and toastiness, almost a nuttiness as well. Lots of green apple though as well to sort of give it a, a fresh liveliness. It does have quite a bit of body to it, so you could pair it with foods like a, a herb roasted chicken or a pork tenderloin. The grapes for this wine were hand harvested um, and then we put them into the very gentle bladder press. The juice was then cold settled before it was put down into French oak barrels where it was fermented and aged for 10 months before bottling.